How much of the conversation about no one could have seen this coming do you, Ralph Nader, believe? Well, I saw it coming. A lot of people saw it coming uh, years ago. I fought financial deregulation in 1998-99 precisely because I predicted this is what would happen. Well, I warned the FDIC that they weren't assessing the banks for enough money in case banks failed and they had to guarantee uh, deposits up to $100,000 in 1996 in 2005, in just this last July. And they weren't assessing the banks in the good times. Now they're going to run out of money, and they're going to have to call on the taxpayer rather than the banks to supplement their insurance budget. We, 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 we've predicted this all along. But, you know, in Washington, D.C., if you're right, you're ignored. If you're wrong, you might get a syndicated radio show. Um, so if we're stuck where we have to do something, what do we do? First, we slow down. We have comprehensive congressional hearings, so we get the best advice. There are people on Wall Street I've talked to said this is not the, 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 the way they would do it. Uh, they would inject capital uh, and have a taxpayer participation. They wouldn't take all the distressed assets, which uh, nobody knows how to evaluate, and they may be worth pennies now, and have the U.S. Treasury pay above market prices for them uh, and break the bank and, and not have enough money to do what is needed to be done for the prudent savers, like funding the FDIC. So all of these and other ideas are all percolating, but they're shut out of Congress because Bush wants the Congress to give him everything he wants, blank check, shut up, and go back and run for re-election. This is a dictator we have here. This is a monarch. This is King George IV. This is the most impeachable president in modern history. This is the president that criminally got us into the Iraq war. Uh, this is the president that didn't know what to do after Katrina. Uh, this is a, uh, a bunch of gangsters who've hijacked our federal government uh, out of the White House. And why do we expect them with their corporate buddies in Wall Street uh, to do anything that would help the average worker, the average small investor, and the average taxpayer? So that's why we've got to slow it down and have all the various uh, ideas and, and, uh, and, uh, and proposals in the context of marches and demonstrations and protests uh, by millions of people around the country because if they don't demand to say, they're going to pay, pay, and pay. Is this what it looks like when a free market fails? This is, yeah, when it doesn't have law and order. This is what happens when it doesn't have uh, federal cops on the corporate uh, crime and fraud beat. Uh, and that's what's happened throughout history. Because greed is infinite. And if you don't have boundaries, if you don't have standards, if you don't have stop signs, if you don't have caution signs, if you don't have law and order, it's going to go off the deep end uh, because the few will uh, take the many uh, and exploit them and uh, try to jump into a golden rowboat just before the ship sinks, otherwise known as golden parachutes. How do we break the stranglehold on corporate mainstream media so that messages like yours, voices like yours, that are for the average citizen, can be seen and heard? You got me. I've been right on this again and again, in writing, in testimony, in speeches, uh, in Washington. The reporters know it. The networks know it. They never have me on. I have to go on comedy shows. <laughs> if it's more regulation that we need, that's a lot more rules and financial doublespeak, right? Is there a model, a template out there for oh, that? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Some of it comes from Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which they dismantled in the Clinton administration. There used to be a, a law called Glass-Steagall Act. It worked very well. It basically says you're either a commercial banker uh, or you're just a regular conventional banker. You don't get people's money and, and, not, and, not, and be able to... Uh, use it with your securities uh, work. Uh, there's a conflict of interest there. The two don't mix. Well, Clinton got rid of Glass-Steagall under the influence of Robin Rubin, who then went to Citigroup and made $40 million after he left the Treasury in four months of consulting, right after the bill passed. What a coincidence. <laughs> and uh, as, as a result, uh, they could do anything. They could take your money in the insurance premiums. They could take them in deposit. They could take it in, in your mortgage payments. They could take it in other kinds of loans and so on. Mix it all up and get it invested in very risky uh, 
what they call collateralized debt obligations. Uh, very few people understand. And kaboom, the thing can go. Speaking of kaboom, what's happening today is capitalism is being bailed out by socialism. And that's why it always can be reckless, because it knows that it can always call on Uncle Sam to save it. And uh, uh, the free market ideology of these corporate capitalists is crumbling, but without any shame, they're now saying, hey, folks, you're all going to get hurt. All you little people are going to get hurt. So we've got to be bailed out by your tax dollars in Washington. This is really offensive to people. This has really got down to their sense of gross greed and lack of fairness. And that's why they're beginning, uh, the rumble is beginning around the country. And everybody should know, the louder the rumble, the more the members of Congress that are fear you, the people, than the corporations and their lobbyists in Washington and Wall Street. The more they fear you, the, the better they're going to stand with you. And hey, where's my health care? Yeah, <laughs> for starters. You want a second opinion? A first opinion. An opinion that you'll like. Go to votenator.org or sign on to our email list and you'll get regular dispatches. They'll give you a different take on the presidential race. <laughs>